Hey there, Spiz414 with another episode of Steam Bin, and today I'm playing Risk of Rain, a uh, game by Chucklefish. It's got a single player and a uh, co-op mode. It is a roguelike. It is one life to live. Get as far as you can. Try and beat the game with that one life. Each playthrough is different with uh, pretty randomly generated worlds and random um, items Just like this all these random different items you can, you can get uh, and they unlock as you play through so there's lots of replay value to this it's pretty tough um, really fun graphic style on this little tiny guy here over time you can unlock other characters, other character classes to use. Um, I used to have a secondary character unlocked. The uh, I don't remember what the class was called, but he had he was slower and he had a shield. Uh, I prefer this guy over that one anyway. He's more agile, uh, faster mover and stuff, which is pretty good to have in this game it gets pretty ridiculous it starts off pretty pretty easy in the top right corner you can see there's a difficulty meter and that will scale up over time so really it's kind of beneficial just to find this thing early on uh, the, the, the object of the game the object of each level is to find this teleporter activate it which spawns in a boss monster that you then fight. Um, I generally like to have more power-ups when I do that, but the more time you spend, the harder it's going to get, the more enemies you're going to be fighting, and uh, you have to kind of remember that you only have this one life. So... Oh, this is a good one to have. This is a good power-up to have. I'll fight the boss with just this power-up. You drop a banner every time you level up that uh, when you stand in it, it gives you a speed boost and I think a regen boost as well. I'm going to kill the first few waves here and open up a couple of chests and get a few more power-ups and then I'm going to activate the portal and take on the boss. See, there we go. Now I've got this bonus here where I fire faster and I believe I have a, uh, a health gain chance to bleed on hits all right let's show off the show the effects of this look how much faster my firing rate is so I'm gonna want to level up over here near where this monsters gonna spawn Oop, oop, don't die You know what I mean about how this it gets really difficult really fast just from the sheer numbers of guys you're fighting. Alright. Let's take care of this guy. I'm gonna go and hit this power up again. What these things do is it spawns these little imps, and when you kill all the imps, one of them will drop, the last one will drop a power up. That's another good one to have. Alright. I'm gonna kill, okay, I'm gonna kill this, clear the screen, and then uh, trigger the boss here. So now I've got a double jump, which is awesome. And I should also explain the controls. Right trigger is your basic, I'm using an Xbox controller. Right trigger is your basic attack. The left trigger is a uh, special attack. Oh, I hate this thing going to kill me. Let me get down here to my uh, healing area. My uh, left bumper does a barrel roll thing where I'm immune during it. So you can uh, dive through your enemies. It's hard. I'm, I'm sorry I'm not talking here. Uh, this is just 
very difficult trying to dodge these guys. I've got to get rid of some of these um, smaller mobs if possible. If it was just me and the boss, we would I would be fine right now. Ooh. I don't know what I just used, but I used it. Oh. It gets so crowded on the screen, it gets hard to tell what's going on. All right, we're good now. I killed the boss, and I just gotta finish clearing out the minions nearby. Oh, my health is back up. All right, we're looking good now. That that was hectic there for a minute. All right, so as I was saying, controls. We've got the uh, jump. We've got the normal firing. We've got the. Uh, Shotgun blast knockback thing, and then we've got the automatic uh, knockback with a stun. And they're all on like a timer, so your best bet with using those is to try and strategically use them in a pattern, so that you can, you know, you know, save your uh, barrel roll thing for evading and stuff like that. Get some more power-ups here. Crowbar deals bonus damage to healthy monsters. What's my use current use item? Best serve cold. What does it do? Okay, it's stuff that attacks people. What's this? Place a marble gate. Nah, I don't want to down with that. I'd rather have the attack. I'm gonna go and get this power up. get these and go chase those guys down and my difficulty is still scaling up as I'm doing this retaliate on taking heavy damage but it's it's gonna be kind of worth it as long as I don't waste too much time getting these power-ups will help me out in the next level just to make me more powerful harder to kill more fun for me Come back here. All right, now I gotta chase down this other guy. He's really going for it. Come back. All right, there he ran into a wall finally. Oh, and he disappeared. They time out if you don't get to him quick enough. That stinks. All right. Oops. A little bit of platforming action. All right, now let's go to the portal. Get out of here and go to the next level. This is a really, really fun game. I've, I've spent about six hours on it so far. Uh, I've never beat it, but it's really fun, and it's, it's, it's good to do speed runs on and just to challenge yourself to try and get as far as you can. Let's get that mouse cursor out of the way. And you get to, you know, all your power-ups carry over as you go and accumulate over time. And these little things here are like chests, containers that have little experience orbs and stuff in them. We've got some different monsters in this realm. The story is, is you're like crash landed in some some planet somewhere. Uh, help me. And uh, all of these power-ups that I'm picking up are like things that were on my ship already. Like uh, things that I was transporting on my ship. Jeez. Ah, ah, ah. Alright. I, I have a, uh, a drone now. It's healing me. Very helpful. Use this again. Need to start being able to do a little bit more damage. 
need a power up that does some more damage. Ah. Ah. Go get him, Orbeez. There we go. Ah. More damage. Go away, stay away. Ah. I really should not be wasting time with these guys. I should be going and finding the, uh, the portal. So I'm just going to run away. I don't have to fight you. I mean, I might have to come back and kill them at the end when I... Uh... Oh, there we go. Healing. Healing's always a good power up to have. You guys aren't as dangerous as those guys, so I will kill you. Get some more monies. Hopefully enough to open this thing. No, nope, not enough. He's stuck there. So let's go ahead and kill him then. Oh, that guy just spawned right in front of me. I didn't even see him there. He was like sharing space with me. Alright, wasting time. Go find the portal. Oh. Ooh. Some presents up there. This one you get to pick one of these three. Um, I'm, who's shooting? Oh, those guys teleport. That's right. There's the portal. Which do I want? Um, I'm okay with my use thing. I think this gives me extra money or something. Gain gold over time, yeah. So that'll be, that's handy to have. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and trigger this. Hopefully it's not the flying stupid thing again. What's the magma worm? I should have tried to level up before I activated that. That was silly. Magma Worm's not terrible. He's got a pretty predictable attack pattern. He just goes up and comes back down. Should be relatively easy to uh, evade him with my double jump. There we go. There's a safe place. Alright. Ah! Oh! My guy died. My healer. Stay away from me. Alright. Tag the worm. Fade. He even has like a little arrow that shows you where he's going to pop up at. So that's very nice of them. Here comes. Almost dead. Ah! Well, I want to stay here in my uh, little zone where I get all the extra XP and, or I mean, extra damage. And I'm not looking forward to going down there and having to kill those things after I kill this worm. Rusty jetpack. Ooh, look how high I can jump now. That's awesome. And I've got to kill all of those guys before I can jump out of here. 
So, let's try and do that. Oh, no, 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 that's like instant death down there. That's terrible. All right, I'm just going to use my little shooty balls to at least to clean up the big guy here. Wowzers. Go get him. There we go. Away. Ah! Ah! Woo! That was close. I almost died right there. Alright, leveled up again. I, I can't shoot from there. That guy's trapped. Those guys are trapped there, so we can just sit here and take them out. Nice. Make sure to use my special moves. Speed this process up. And as we're doing this, it's just getting harder and harder for the next level. Yeah, tempo of the gun. All right, more enemies. The arrow points to their location. Have at thee. Get this chest. Oh, I gotta go this way. All right, gotta go over there and go down and get those guys and then I can move on to the next level we're now in difficulty hard oh I got another one of those stupids I don't want to knock this guy off here, so I'm not going to use special moves on him. Alright, and it's just that guy up there. How do I get over there? Okay. I have to jump up here and then jump down. Yeah. There we go. And then just these guys here, maybe. Are you the last ones? Yep, that's it. And I have so much money. Unfortunately, your money, I don't believe goes with you. I think it just converts into score at the end of the level. We'll see. It would be nice to have all of that carry over to the next level so I can get any chests that I see right off the bat. So let's find out. Nope. It all becomes experience. Sunken tombs. Very hard now is our difficulty level. Which is wonderful. That means that uh, as you progress, that also means that your power-ups, like the chests, unlocking chests and stuff, is more expensive. So everything kind of scales up with the difficulty. Ooh, that hurt me. Yeah, look, $392 is for that. Ridiculous. Ooh, wrong button. There we go. I love this banner power up. It makes you so, so much more powerful. Do so much more damage. 
the attack rate goes up. Love it. Is this a chest? It is. Almost enough to unlock that, whatever it is. There we go. Oh, he's got like extra health. He's got like his normal red health bar and then orange on top of it. That's the first time I've seen this. This might be the furthest I've gotten in the game. I haven't played in a while. I like that there's new music on each of the levels. It doesn't get stale. This guy's got tons of health. He's blue. go unlock this uh, question marky guy and then I'm gonna go to the right and see if I can find the teleporter. I've got plenty of power-ups right now and I've been doing pretty well for myself so I don't need to waste too much time on on loot hunting necessarily. Jeez, look at all the baddies that just spawned in. Alright, let's go grab this. Oh, it's random. It's like a choosy thing. Killing an enemy permanently permanently increases my health. Ooh. That's a good one. Ooh. Did I just die? I just died. That's the end of that. This item will now drop. I think that's that's another health power up. Uh, yeah, super fun game. Um, I enjoy it thoroughly. I would like to try and do some multiplayer on it at some point, but uh, just the single player is really fun. And uh, yeah, definitely worth a look if you like really tough dungeon crawl or roguelikes and uh, you know retro inspired platforming games such as this that's gonna be it for me today though thanks for watching if you enjoyed don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and I will see you next time bye